Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be lounge makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for upcoming videos. I am here today with one of my favorite videos of the year. I always get so excited about this video and this one is the 18 favorites of 2018. This is actually the first video that I post in the new year and I've been MIA for a little bit. I think you guys know from my last video that I had moved and I was just like in the middle of, you know, just the craziness of moving and just a lot of stuff. I explained a lot of it in my last vlog, which the last vlog was the first video that I first filmed in my new house. And this is actually the first video that I actually do my makeup, sit down, plan and film for you guys. I am in the living room of my house. I'm about to take down the decorations, but I was like, I'm gonna leave the Christmas decorations just for the video because it is a festive video. It's a fun video and um, I'll probably take them down after, but I just wanted to do this video here. The makeup room is not ready yet, but it is almost ready. I need to do a couple more things. You know, I still have a few more boxes that I haven't, you know, opened up. I need to actually add some light in there because I used to have a light in, in my bedroom where I used to film on top of the vanity, and I'm gonna have to install one of those because it is a little bit dark, even though I have the light in the middle, like the, um, the mirrored light that you have the um, magnifying mirror on one side and the regular mirror on the other that one lights up when I do my makeup but I think for filming it definitely needs some more lighting because a lot of the times I don't have the chance to film during the day I really do film a lot in the evening late at night around the weekends um, so I definitely need to add that so before I get filming in there I need to do that first but I figured the living room is pretty much ready. This is just the holiday version of the living room. You can see my little fake tree over there, which I love, and my little minty green and silver colors. I'm really excited to start filming for you guys again and be able to post some more videos for you. Um, I think here, if I film here more, I think it will be fine. I think the background is actually pretty good and the lighting is not too bad. So I'm really excited about that. I also really hope that you guys really enjoyed the holidays, that you enjoyed Christmas, that you had a great new years and I wish you all the best for 2019. I had a lot of big changes go on for me in 2018 and I'm just really excited for what's to come this new year of 2019. So I'm very excited that my first video back is my 18 of 2018. I narrowed it down pretty much to my favorite 18 products of the year. I've been doing this already for a few years and it's tough because you do try so many things and it's not just makeup i do have other items that are not makeup related not that many i think the majority are makeup but um, i did want to show you guys the other products that i loved um and that i will continue using this year but it is hard to narrow it down but i kind of like it because it kind of forces me to narrow it down to you know the best products that i use during the year so um other years it's actually even harder 18 i think is a pretty good amount but i remember when i would do like the 16 or the 15 of 2015 those you really had to narrow it down but i think for 2018 i think i'm good there were a couple tough choices and i had to just like cut some out because I pretty much had a couple more slots. I don't know if I'll do a little bit of cheating, but I don't think so. I think I'm gonna be okay, and I'm gonna have my 18 favorite products of the year. So we better get started with my favorite 18 products of 2018. I'm gonna start off with the non-makeup items first. The very first run is like extremely random. It has nothing to do with beauty, makeup, fashion, nothing. It is just like, the best invention in the whole wide world and that is the yeti cup this is my number one favorite of the year and this is the yeti cup i actually have a couple this brand is really really good and this is the really big one this is actually the first one that i ever got they have it in really pretty colors i have this one in this mint green and i have it in the white but this is the best cup ever. I always, I've mentioned this before, but I always take a glass of water to bed with me in the evening so that when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I can do is take a cold drink of water. Just like regular room temperature water, which I don't like. I like cold, cold water. I like ice water. And this is the best because you put ice in here, you go to bed at night, and the next morning your ice is still there and your water is freezing cold. So that I love. It is like the most refreshing thing when you wake up. I actually got my dad addicted to this too because he 
also does that. You take a glass of water to bed before, you know, before you go in and then the next morning you can always wake up and have your fresh glass of water. So he's addicted to this. He like walks around the house with this all the time. My mom's like him and his cup and I am the same way. So I went out and I ventured and I got some more, which they're all awesome. This one is the same thing. It's just a little bit smaller. I don't know the sizes by memory, but I will go ahead and link them down below. You can get them on Amazon. They also sell them at sporting goods stores. I know that the Dick Sporting Goods that we have here in Miami has that. And then I also have these two which are like for coffee and um, it's awesome because a lot of the times, you know, you start drinking your coffee, you sip it and then you start doing other things and you kind of forget that you even have it there and then it gets a little bit cold and I like my coffee hot. And this just like really maintains coffee or to go. You know, this one is better for the car because it usually fits in the cup holders. This one with a handle doesn't, but it's just really convenient for the home. So that brand Yeti is awesome. Definitely my favorite is the big one because this is the very first one that I got. I think it's 32 ounces. Could that be what it is? And definitely this is my number one favorite of 2018. That is a non-makeup item. I highly recommend them. They're pricey, but they're just so durable. I put them in the dishwasher, no problem. And I'm just really obsessed with them. My second favorite product of 2018 isn't really makeup, but it is makeup related. It is a makeup bag. And this is from Purse and this is the Diva makeup bag. And the reason I love this so much, one, it is the bomb for using on your vacay because I have taken it on vacation, but it might be a little bit big for people to take on vacation unless you're like a makeup obsessed person like me or major makeup lover or even, I don't know, maybe a makeup artist would get good use out of it too. But this is also really good to use just as your makeup organization if you have a normal size collection that would fit into here. So I love this because it has different compartments. You know, it has like these nice little compartments that you can take out and it actually keeps the inside of here very nicely organized and it also doesn't stain because everything is in here and you can actually see everything that's in there. So it has all these little compartments. It comes with five in here and then it has a big pocket here. So I use this a lot when I went on vacation this year, but also what I used it a lot for was when I moved, this is pretty much how I packed this up before I pack my makeup. I packed this up in actually a second bag full of makeup and this is pretty much what I have been living off for the past couple months just because I mean I really just recently unpacked all my makeup except for everything was in here and I just had this in my bathroom and this is what I have been using so I loved it on my trip when I took it out of town when I went in July it was when I went on the cruise and I really just have been using it a lot just here at home for every single day. And it just kept my makeup nice and organized. It was really great for when I had to do my makeup to go to work every single morning. And I just really loved it. So I recommend it, not just for vacation, just for like your everyday life. It just keeps you organized. Or even maybe if you have, maybe you have a huge stash like me and you have a vanity, but then you wanna just keep this by your bathroom sink for like your everyday makeup. So that's also a good option, but pretty much I have been using this every single day. The next two favorites, my number three and four are two Louis Vuitton handbags. I would say that these are the two handbags that I use the most during the year and they're not like big everyday bags. They're bags that I pretty much just use all the time if I were to go out, whether it's casual or whether maybe you wanna dress it up a little bit. They're also the ones that I took out of town just because they were so small and convenient. The first one is the Sienna PM. And that one is this one. Again, I did an unboxing of this one and the other one, so I'll also link to those down below. But this bag is just the perfect size because it's not too teeny where like nothing fits, but it's also not that big that it's a bulky bag to take in the evening. Like my Speedy 30 is a bulky bag to take in the evening. This is a lot smaller and you can fit a lot of good stuff in here. The inside it looks like this. You have some pockets. The best part about it is that it has a strap that you can use as a crossbody or you can use it on the shoulder, but this bag is so versatile that you can also carry it you know, in your hand like this. So this is a Damier Eben, and this is a Sienna PM, like I said, and it is just such a good bag that I highly recommend. And I just think for me, the size is just perfect for that purpose to you maybe use in the evening. It goes with everything. This is also the best print, I think, for Louis Vuitton that does not stain, it doesn't get dirty, it doesn't get dark. It just really stays the same all the time. So if you ever want a Louis Vuitton bag, 
that you don't want it to really show the wear and tear, I think this is the best print that you can go for. My next favorite Louis Vuitton bag and just handbag of 2018 was the Louis Vuitton Monogram Emprunt, the Pochette Matisse. This is another bag that I will just always pull out in the evening to go out. You wear it crossbody. Again, it's just so comfortable and it's really convenient. It also fits a good amount. It fits less than the Sienna PM that I just showed you, but it does fit a pretty decent amount. Also very comfortable for travel. It is very convenient. And I just love this red color just because I feel like the red is a very classic color. Again, this one has the big strap that you can wear crossbody or on the shoulder. You can also carry this one like this if you want, but I always tend to use this one with a strap. Whereas a Sienna, I have carried it just alone in my hand, but I feel like this one just looks better when you use the strap. But it's very convenient. Like I said, it doesn't fit as much, but it's still a very good amount and it's not like a tiny clutch bag where you can't even put your cell phone in it. This bag, you can definitely put your sunglasses case in it. You can, you know, put your wallet. I've even shrunk down my wallet, but I have put the whole thing in here and it fits. Um, it is just really good. I love the back pocket. This is kind of just where I shove my cell phone. But these are pretty much bags that I've used over and over again. And I can strongly tell you that I highly recommend it just because I have used it so much. And I just think it is a great addition to your purse family and just the red is a classic red it's not a color that's going to go out of style and i just really love it this one also you know it has very good wear and tear because i have used it and abused it a lot and you really can't tell i've also taken it on trips which sometimes i'm like man i probably won't take it on trips anymore just because it does get a little bit more squished on trips but um it just holds up so so nicely and it's just very comfortable which is like what I look for now and stuff it needs to be comfortable it needs to be convenient and I just try now to stick away from the trendy things whereas before I would love those special editions that would come and go out of style and I just tend to gravitate more towards the one that are more classic now so that I feel like your money just goes a longer way it lasts longer and you tend to use it you know for many many years to come and it's just more worth it than something trendy and I just think that this is just so classic just like the other one and you'll just never get sick of these bags and you'll never regret purchasing these so we better get started with the beauty products they do have a lot of makeup items I also have a skincare item a body item a perfume so I do have a couple different things but I'm just gonna get started and go with them for my number five product of 2008 2008 2018 I just went back like 10 years in a second is the Sarah Hap lip slip this is a product that I did find more towards the latter part of 2018 but the reason it made it into my 18 favorites is because it kind of you know I had two other products that were favorites I think the last one in 2017 made it to my 17 favorites 2017 and that was the fresh um the caramel the caramel the yeah the caramel lip balm that one was like my go-to the one that i would buy i remember before that one i used to like the dior and then the fresh kind of like kicked the dior out of my favorites and now the sarah hap one kicked the fresh out of my favorites so that is pretty much why i love this product and i had to share it with you guys today as one of my favorites of last year um of course i still love the fresh one and i love the dior one um, I guess you would say those are my top three favorite lip balms, but this one is just so good I just ran out of the one that I had in my purse and I got two more so that I can have one of my night table one of my purse But it just feels so nice and thick. I like it because it lasts a long time I find that with the other ones I would reapply a lot more than I have to reapply with this one just because it's so nice and sticky But it's comfortable sticky. It also lets your lip look really really shiny so a lot of the times I don't even put anything on top of it sometimes I'll put lip liner and then this on top of it and it looks beautiful most of the time I always use it under my lipstick or under my gloss um, but a lot of the times I also just use it on its own but it is such a great lip balm I get it at Nordstrom highly recommend it definitely my number one lip balm of all time at the moment and definitely a huge a huge find for last year my favorite skincare product of 2018 was definitely this pricey face wash but it's one that i used to use many many years ago and then i just started using it all over again and i just love it i love washing my face with it i love pouring it on my clarisonic and it is just a really good product i know it's pricey but i always take advantage of the sephora sales and i always buy it then this is the la mer the cleansing gel i just like the way it feels when i wash my face it doesn't feel like 
too strong where like my face feels like you know like it's too tight it just feels really really good it smells really great it's like a spa in a bottle and it's like you're basically you're getting a facial it smells like when you go get a facial and how the spa smells so good and it is just such a good good cleansing gel i also ended up getting the oil and i really didn't love it as much i mean it's good it's what i'm using right now but when i run out of it it's not something that i'm gonna repurchase the oil to cleanse is the one that i'm talking about but the cleansing gel is amazing. I love it. Definitely will repurchase. And this is a product that made it into my 18 favorites of 2018. So I know I said at the beginning that I probably would not cheat and show you more products than I should, but now I think I might have to cheat because I was about to film the next little product. And then I was like, wait a minute, how about that one? So I am gonna show you both of them and I'm gonna use the excuse that one is more expensive and one is drugstore just to give you options. They're pretty much the same type of color. But I have my favorite lipsticks of 2018. This is the next product on my list. And the very first one is actually a surprise because I remember when I first got it, I think it's called the Lip It Up Satin um, Lip Color by Dose of Color in the shade Parfait, which is like my type of pink. This is what it looks like. And this one is one that when I first got it, I was like, it doesn't seem silky. It's a little bit more drier, not matte matte, but it's not a color that feels like creamy, but it just, I just ended up loving it. It glides on great. It sticks really well. It lasts a long time. And it is just my go-to type of color. It is like the perfect pink for me. I just love, this is my type of pink color. And this is one that I have used and abused. And it's definitely a favorite of mine. The drugstore version is also very, very similar. And, um, but I just wanted to mention both to you. So this is the Dose of Color Lip It Up Satin Lip Color. I think that's what it's called. Of course, I'll put the full name down below. But this is definitely the color that I use the most in 2018. I've already purchased a new one. And the drugstore version of the lipstick is this Revlon lipstick. And this is in the shade in the shave in the shade primrose number 668 it is a cream color from revlon it is extremely similar shade and again it is my type of color it is a little bit when i put it next to it it does look a little bit lighter it's this one right here but you can see it's more like that pink type of tone that you can tell is a little bit towards the mauvey side and i just really like it to me they're extremely similar when i wear them on the lips I really like it. Again, my type of go-to pink color. So of course, both of these I've repurchased already and I love it. It's one of those colors that I'll just continue to purchase just because it is that good. My eighth favorite product of 2018 is a perfume and this is the Hermes Le Jardin de Monsieur Lee. This is what it looks like. Again, perfume is something that I get really excited about when I find something new because I am extremely picky with scents and I don't like the usual scent. I'm not really too much into the floral. I like something really unique and different. And I just, it's really hard for me to find perfumes. Also super sensitive with the scent thing. And you know, perfumes, I'm the type of person who if I can't stand your perfume, you're probably gonna make me sick just because it's like, <gasps> I hate it. So when I find a good perfume, I get really excited. And this is one that I definitely loved. I discovered this because a friend of mine gave me a little set of all the Jardin perfumes by Hermes for, I forgot it was for my birthday or for like Christmas. And this is the one that I fell in love with out of the whole set. And I ended up buying the full size. It's also a perfume that you can actually like put like five or six sprays in it and it's not gonna be too overwhelming. You smell good, you smell different, it smells fresh and it smells clean. Bronzer, this is not gonna be a surprise and this is my number nine product. And this is the Marc Jacobs. This is the Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan. This was a limited edition for some time and I wasn't able to get my hands on it when I first found it or when I first saw it online and it was supposed to not come back but I think it was just so popular that they ended up making it permanent so I think now it is available um you know it is more readily available and I finally got it I ended up getting it I think on the Marc Jacobs website I couldn't even get it on Sephora because every time I tried to go on there it was always sold out but I'm so happy that I did it's pretty much the bronzer that I have been using over and over again I used to have I have the Tom Ford one that I spent so much money on and I loved it too that was like my favorite before this one and even the NARS Laguna which was like an all-time favorite has kind of pretty much this has kicked their 
earbud because this is the one that I have been using over and over again. So this is definitely one that I had to mention for you guys today. A lot of people probably had it in their favorites last year because they probably were lucky enough to get their hands on it. I wasn't lucky enough to get my hands on them, but I'm glad I did this year and it's the bronzer that I've been using the most. My next favorite is a body product that you use in the shower and that is from the brand Bliss. This is the Bliss Hot Salt Scrub. It's a self-heating body polish and it has rosemary and eucalyptus. This is one that I have been buying over and over again. I know I've mentioned this in favorites and I'm surprised that I haven't mentioned it in one of my yearly favorites. Because um, last year I loved this one as well, but I checked last year's and I hadn't mentioned it and I really wanted to share it with you guys. It's probably the body product that I keep on repeat and I buy it over and over again. And this one, I go through it really fast. It's a scrub. I love it because the little particles are nice. You know, they're rough, they're not too harsh, but they're also not like, you know, those scrubs that you can't even tell that you're scrubbing. It looks like you're just putting on like a shower gel or something. And this one really scrubs. I love when you start using it, it feels warm. It smells good. It's like kind of like, you know, and it's like the Vicks Vapor of scent that just kind of like, feels so good when you're taking a hot bath. And I just really, really love this product. And it's definitely my favorite body product of 2018. Probably should have been my favorite product also of 17. I don't know if I repeat it by any chance from previous years. Well, it's back because it's what I use over and over again, but I don't think so. So I was really surprised that I hadn't mentioned this in one of my yearly favorites because it's awesome. And I have, this is probably like my eighth one that I have purchased, so. Awesome, highly recommended if you're into like scrubs for your body. The next product is another La Mer product, which is a pricey product, but I have loved it. And it's another product that I kind of like, I used to be so obsessed and I still am. It's my second favorite. The Laura Mercier Loose um, Setting Powder, the translucent powder, is the one that I use all the time. I have a brand new one because it's one that I will always like to alternate with this one. But the La Mer, the powder, is just amazing. I also feel that I like it a lot because it has a more like orangey type of color and I feel like that even helps you know for the correcting even though you really can't tell that it's like a little bit more orangey but as you can see it's not so you know it's not so beige -ish. it's just like a little bit more more orangey and I just love using it it just feels so smooth and I like to use this for setting my under eye concealer. I like to put my beauty blender in here and just set it and then sweep it off. And it just makes your under eye area look so smooth. It's so finely milled that it doesn't look cakey at all. And I just really love it. My only complaint, it doesn't have a scent. I just always smell stuff. Um, my only complaint is that, of course, the price, and I wish it brought a little bit more product because for a loose powder, it doesn't bring as much as regular loose powders do. Here it says 0.28 ounces. Um, yeah, so like the Laura Mercier brings a lot more. So definitely the Laura Mercier is probably a better deal for the money, you don't waste as much money. But if you feel like getting a luxury loose powder, this is definitely the one that I would recommend if you want luxury. If not, you don't have to spend so much money on a loose powder. The Laura Mercier one is amazing. But yeah, this is definitely a favorite because it's one that I used all the time and it kind of like, you know, when I got this one, I kind of stopped using the Laura Mercier. My 12th favorite product of 2018 is a primer, and that is the Tatcha The Silk Canvas Primer. This primer is amazing. It's so smoothing. I feel like it's even moisturizing. I like to put it all over my face. And ever since this primer came out, I stopped using all my other primers. So that is when you can tell that it's definitely a favorite of mine. It looks like this. It's a very fancy type of primer. The packaging, I think, is really really pretty and cool I also like like the size of it I don't know it's just just seems really convenient but I just like the way it makes my skin look I also like the way that foundation applies over it I just think it's so nice and so smooth and it is a really great product it also lasts a long time so it is not cheap but it just lasts a really long time because a little bit really goes a long way. So it has a little thing that kind of looks like a little guitar pick that you kind of just like scratch, like, you know, you scratch a little bit off. Or sometimes I just go in there and shove my finger in there and put it on my face. But I just really, really love it. And it made it into my 18 favorites. For my number 13, I have to share with you guys the Stilla. These are the Shimmer and Glow eyeshadows. I love these so much. I actually like these more than I like the glitter ones. The glitter ones are also great, but I'm more of a shimmer type of girl and these are just the best. 
and they're just so easy to apply. You can just be super lazy with makeup and just put a little bit of color on your crease and then if you just want to get out the door, you just pop some of this on your lid. You blend it well, it dries up, they don't bug. And they are just so like, just the way they glide on is just like amazing. It's just such a beautiful shimmery color and it just glides on so nicely. And this is definitely a favorite of mine. I just feel like it brings your makeup to like the next level. And I just have so many colors of these that I love. And they're like go-to colors of mine. This one right here that I just showed you is Grace. The first one that I applied is Starlight. I mean, it's just, oh, look at that. Look how just they just like glide on like, like if nothing. Like just so easily. And that's exactly how they go on the lid. That one was La Douce. This one is Jezebel. Let me show you Jezebel. Look at this. It just, they're just so beautiful and so vibrant and shimmery. And if you're into like shimmery and frosty shadows, this is something that you'll definitely love. And I mean, I just highly recommend that all these colors are gorgeous. I can't even tell you which one is my favorite. Oh, this one's so pretty. This is La Boheme. Well, look, I just did it where you can't even see it. Look at that. Is it La Boheme? That's an opera. It's Boheme. I'm just my dad's an opera fanatic, so I just I know all his operas, <laughs> and it's called Boheme, not La Boheme. Look at this one, just like showing you them all. Look how beautiful they just glide. The next product is a concealer, and this is from Laura Mercier. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I use shade One N and Two C. I kind of mix a neutral with a more cool tone ones. This is what they look like. They're very, very good concealers. They're concealers that I have used during the day. I also use them in the evening, and it's pretty much just the one that I have been gravitating towards. I still use the Tarte Shape Tape because that concealer is amazing. This one is a lot lighter than the Shape Tape, but it just gives really good coverage. It gives better coverage than the Urban Decay Naked, um, which that's one that used to be afraid of mine all the time. I use the Naked still, the regular Naked Skin Concealer. I like that one more for during the daytime. And um, this one, I use it a lot also during the daytime, but you can also use it in the evening. It's kind of like, not as much as Tarte Shape Tape, but a lot more than the Urban Decay Naked Skin. So I just really, really love this one, and it's the one that I use pretty much every day right now. I have another product from Laura Mercier that I have to share with you guys. And these again are some, just like the salt scrub that I showed you guys, this is also something that I use all the time and I don't know why I haven't featured them before or last year. They're the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. This is pretty much the base that I have been using for my shadows all last year and even before that. Um, I went, actually, I think I used to use the NARS ones more, the NARS sticks more, but now I just really am into the Laura Mercier ones. I have more of these, but I don't even know where they are. So these are really, really great great products. I have used them on their own, but I do prefer them to use them under eyeshadow because I feel like it really makes your eyeshadows pop. So I'll pop this on the lid and then over that I'll put on some powder eyeshadow and it really, it really makes your eyeshadow stick. It makes it look really vibrant. Let me see, I'm swatching them for you here. But they're just really beautiful and they're just very easy to blend and I don't know, they're just the ones that I grab for the most. The colors that I just showed you are Rose Gold, Moonlight, and Sandalwood, no, Sandal Glow. I know I have Copper, that one's really, really good too. And I just really like all of these because they're the type of nudes or neutral colors that they have that are my go-to neutral colors. And they're just, it's just a simple product, but one that I have been using over and over again all the time and it's just a really good makeup item from Laura Mercier. And if you ever need like a, a base for your powder eyeshadow, this is the one that I really recommend. I used to also always use the MAC Indian Wood Paint Pot. Paint Pots are pretty good too. Indian Wood is probably my favorite of the MAC Paint Pots, but I just don't grab it that much anymore because since it's like kind of like a, um, it's not a stick, it's more like a little tub of product, which is easy, you can stick your finger in it or a brush and it's easy, but this you just like open and apply and blend and that is it. Sometimes I'll just apply it quickly and just pop up the, pop the powder eyeshadow on top of it 
and I am good to go. So I just really, really think that those are really good products. My 16th favorite product of 2018 is another skincare product, and this is by the brand Drunk Elephant. This is the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. This is what it looks like. This is one that I just really, really like because I find myself... I've mentioned it before, I'm not as great applying my skincare as I do the makeup. Like sometimes skincare, I'll forget about it, I'll let it go. Like I have like my morning makeup routine that I never change. Um, and then with skincare, sometimes I just skip it. But this is a product that I find myself using more and more all the time. Especially in the summer, I used it a lot. But I like to mix it in with my moisturizer or you can mix it in with a primer. I also like to mix it in with my Origins Vitazing. And it is just a really great product. This is how the product looks like. But when you blend it in, it just blends nicely and gives you like a nice little tint to the skin. And for me, I mean, you're definitely supposed to mix it in with something. You don't just apply it to your face like that. But I do put a pump of it with my moisturizer and it gives you a nice little bronzy glow. But it's also very good for you. So I just like it. It has cocoa extract platinum peptides and it is a really good product and it's one of the products from 2018 that really caught my attention it's something that I had always been looking for um, that I just really couldn't find because I don't really use that many bronzy type of products on my body I should try to do more self tanning but I just don't and um, this is just something that really helped me out and it just gives you a nice healthy glow it doesn't look orangey it doesn't look like really exaggerated if you mix it in with your moisturizer it just looks really really nice so um, this is definitely a favorite of mine it's a product that I will continue to repurchase and it's a favorite of mine right now today not just 2018 like all these products that I'm mentioning today I'm still using over and over again so they're definitely going to be I think these are favorites of mine that I'm going to have for a very very long time so we have two left of my 18 favorites of 2018 and the next one is another one that I feel I'm cheating on but I think the only reason I wanted to show you guys both of these is because I think one of them is no longer available but the other one looks just like it. So again, it is my type of go-to shade. And when I find a go-to shade of mine in lipstick, lip gloss, I just buy it over and over again. And I really, really like it. The very first one that I want to show you guys is the Tarte H2O Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Room Service. And I love this. This is pretty much the glosses that I like to use on top of those lipsticks that I showed you. So this is the first one that I wanted to share with you guys. And then the second one that was definitely a favorite of mine in 2018, pretty much my two most used glosses. The second one is a Clinique one in Spritz Pop. And it's one of these Maramico, Marimeco um, line. And again, it's like the same type of color. But I don't think that these, I think these were like special editions. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. But see how they're pretty much the same idea i'm not sure if it's still available or if it will be available so that is kind of why i just wanted to show you both of them but they are that style and these are definitely my most used glosses of 2018 and they're just favorites and they go so great with the dose of color and the revlon lipsticks it's just like this is the go-to shade for me. So this is definitely my number 17 of my 2018 favorites. And I just really, really like them. They also feel really nice. They're not too sticky, um, but they just glide on very smoothly. And they're so comfortable. And you can wear them over lipstick like I do with those. Or you can even wear them on their own. A lot of the times, I'll wear the Sarah Hap Lip Slip and then I'll put this on top. It just looks really, really beautiful. And my last favorite of 2018 is my favorite palette pretty much of the year. This is one where I really had to think about and I just pulled out all my palettes. I didn't want to show more than one. I just wanted to show you the one that I grabbed the most last year. And that is the KKW with Mario palette. This is the collaboration palette that Kim Kardashian did with her fabulous makeup artist, Mario. And this is just a palette that I used a lot this year. It's the one that I would take when I go out of town. It is just very good quality shadows. It's the one that's making me kind of try more shadows from the KKW line. I know that they have um, the regular neutral one, which that one I'm excited to test out, even though now I got a new one that I'm loving so much. And it's definitely gonna be a favorite for 2019. 
but this one was just a really good good palette I love how nice and sleek it is it is just so comfortable and so convenient for travel my favorite color in the palette is definitely this one which is the one that has a little bit more of a dent but it's that one I just like this color so much for the lid but they're all just so nice and buttery and the mattes are really beautiful and I just really like this palette it's a great palette I also love this pop of blue that the palette has and I have really been into those pops of color for some reason like my go-to like lid color that is like for me like what holiday is all about is the green I love the green but I also love applying the blue line on my lower lash line I've also done a look for this one all over my lid and it's just like a beautiful blue color um of course it's one that I don't use as often as the other ones but this one is also a really good one that I use on the crease all the time and this one is also very good I use it like I would use my MAC vanilla so it's just a really nice and complete palette where you can do a full look with but I just think the colors are nice and buttery and smooth there's not too much fallout and I think it's just a palette that you can use for every day you can have all the neutrals but then you also have those pops of cool color right here you have a purple you have a blue and um, I don't know it's just really beautiful to just take a look to the next level so this is definitely the palette that I used the most in 2018 last year I think it was the persona palette which is still a favorite of mine and I would say it's one that I also used a lot this year in 2018. But um, yeah, this is definitely my favorite palette of 2018. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my 18 favorites of 2018. I will make sure to list all the products I mentioned in the description box down below as always. And I'll also link some of those videos that I mentioned earlier in this video so that you guys can check them out in case you haven't seen them already. As always, I wanna say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. I know I haven't been able to post as much as I usually did before, but um, I'm kind of still getting into the hang of things and just organizing everything, and I really want to get that room completed. But I think I can get back started on my videos. I think here it's actually very comfortable to film like on my kitchen table. I have like all the space, and it's convenient. It's actually not a hassle at all. So I think I could probably get some more videos out by filming here. I think the lighting is pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, so I'll be back with some more videos for you guys. Wishing you the best for 2019. Hope you guys have an amazing year. Only positive vibes and positive things coming your way. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching my videos. Love you so much. Can't wait to continue filming and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.